Okay, there's your man, Fast Freddy Tips. So he's not very good or what? Well, as a matter of fact, he is very good. He just doesn't like to pay his bills. And that's why you're gonna repossess his car. Now, when it goes in the entrance, you grab the Cadillac, drive directly to the finance company where a nice man will be waiting with a check. Well, it's simple, you pick up a fast 300 bucks. Listen, I'm not really into keys at all. I, maybe this is something you ought to do. Now, Vincent, look, I, I don't do repo work. The only reason I took the job is to give you a chance to make some extra money. I appreciate Besides, it. Besides, he knows me. He takes one look at me and whoosh, he is gone in a flash. That's why they call him Fast Freddy Tips. But listen, if you can't handle it, I'll hey, just... Hey, I can hey, somebody hey. Else. I can handle the job. He's not violent, is he? I mean, he wouldn't I, do. Well, there's only one time I can ever remember him being the least bit violent. What's that? The last time someone tried, tried to, to repossess, repossess his car. You can handle it, come on. Thank you. Dan, come in downtown. What do you got, Angie? Can you go already, please? Ten four. Dan, what's a knish? A knish? Uh, Angie, a knish is a little hunk of meat pastry that weighs around 600 pounds. Why? Your mother's here making some for dinner. <laughs> My mother? Ask him where he keeps his chicken fat. Where do you keep your chicken fat? My chicken fat? Danny. Yeah, Danny, it's me, Mother Mishkin. I'm sorry about dropping in without even a call, but I think my life is in danger. A and I know you'd want to protect me, so uh, are you coming home soon? I'm on my way. Oh, OK. Oh, stop kidding, Dan. I hear you right outside the front door. Not me, you don't, Angie. I'm a mile and a half away. Well, somebody's pulling in. <laughs> My God, it's King Kong! <laughs> Angie, what's going on there? Dan! <laughs> Stall him, I'm on my way. Dan, if it's here, it's a real girl. <laughs> Get the right key. Give me the right key. Give me the right key. Get the door open. Get the 
right key. Got it! Wait! Wait! I'm not finished yet! It's all right, they're gone. It's all right, it's okay. What did he look like? Dan, it was a real gorilla. A real gorilla? Excuse me, late lunch. Well, now that we know what happened, I would like to know why. The why what? Why you told Dan your life was in danger. And why some creep with a stocking mask sicked a gorilla on you. Well, then uh, maybe the gorilla was meant for Dan. <laughs> Dan, help me out, please. Bella, I'm sorry she doesn't trust cops. They used to hassle her when she was running her hookers. Models. The Michigan Model Agency featured the finest young women in Las Vegas and talented. Hmm. I even had a, an opera singer and the spelling bee champion of Wichita among my girls. Uh, now, Mother, come on. I wouldn't have brought you here if Sergeant Archer wasn't OK. Oh. Right. Was that bum, that Bawana Worthmeyer? He's trying to shut me up. Bawana Worthmeyer, the crazy real estate developer? <laughs> that machine. He should only develop a sickness and, and be buried on that lousy property that he sold me. Him and his safari's leisure acre. The only person who could enjoy leisure there is a coyote. You know, a bunco did have some calls from Bawana's operation, but those charges were dropped. Well, of course. <laughs> All of his victims are old people, and they can't take that much aggravation. I filed against Buana with the Real Estate Commission. And when his hearing comes up in two days, he, he knows I'm going to put him out of business. That's why he's trying to kill me. Well, if Worthmeyer wanted to put the lid on a phony real estate deal, he might use a little muscle, but, uh, you know, murder just doesn't figure. All I know is, right after I told Buana's hood to get lost, a prowler cut my screen just before the neighbor's dog scared him off. And today we got those two gorillas. Danny, I, I want you to protect me. Look, keep an eye on her until I can find a place for her to stay and uh, run a make on anyone who owns a gorilla, OK? Uh, listen, stay here and don't tell anyone where you are. Not a soul, Danny. And take an umbrella. It hasn't rained for six months. Sure, sure so we're due. And next time, hold the mayonnaise. Yeah. Vanish. I want to talk to my own private detective. So you like my suit? Yes, I do. <laughs> What's wrong? Why should something be wrong? Well, I never see you when I've got a problem. I only see you when you've got a problem. Oh, it's like that hurts, you know? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll tell you something. A little pain won't hurt you. Yeah, I know. It builds character. And you could use a little. Thanks a lot. Now that's what hurts. Look at that. Beautiful girls. But no bizarre, no elegance, no elan, no nothing. I mean, he's... Oh, uh, Maurice! Excuse me for interrupting. Would you hold it for a second, everybody? Just for a minute, please. Uh, girls, Maurice, that's wonderful. But you know, we're gonna have a house full of uh, audience paying a lot of money, and they'd like to see a little more... Well, you know what I mean, elan. Come on, follow me, girl. Come on, a little tempo. That's it! Pick it up there! Lift it up! Throw it up! Make bigger circles, Maurice! That's it, darling! 
wondered how you got started. So did I. Yeah, I got started as a choreographer, then I was a cook. Then you know what I learned to do? Excellent exits. So Mother Michigan's blowing the whistle on Buona Worthmeyer. So what do you want from me? Well, I need a place for Mother to stay until it's safe. Is this a martini? It's in the wrong glass and it's not full. Come on. Where are we going? Big appointment. I see uh, Mother Michigan won't leave town, so I was thinking maybe that uh, we could use your sweet. Get in there. My sweet. All ready for you, Mr. Oh, Roth. thank you. Look at that. A thing of beauty. What flavor is that? That's black. What do you want? Uh, not for me. I'm driving. Look, you work for me, you eat with me. Now, what do you want? Uh, vanilla. Vanilla? I like vanilla. What an imagination, Mr. Excitement. Vanilla. All right. Give him vanilla with some spreckles. Uh, no spreckles. Spreckles. There. Come on. Another big appointment? Oh, very good. <laughs> so, uh, what about your sweet? Okay, okay, okay. Right? Why am I always saying okay to you? Because you love me. <laughs> yeah, I probably do. Paging Mr. Tanner, Mr. Dan call, call, Tanner. Call. Here, have this one too. <laughs> Round two. This time you're going to put up your camels, your wives, and your land. Uh, don't translate, it's only a joke. Go get them. Uh, could you help me with the phone? Thank you. Uh, Tanner. It's me, Dan. Hi, uh, B. Now, listen, uh, Pick up Mother Michigan at Bella Archer's office and take her over to Bernie Roth Suite at the Desert Inn, but make it inconspicuous. I'll call you later. Uh, hold it. I called you, remember? Uh, Benzer called in this weird message. He said he had to buy a new pair of pants because Fast Freddy was too fast, but he was hot on the trail. Uh, listen, B, my, my cup runneth over. I'll call you later. i got to see a man about some retirement problems. One of Worthmeyer. Mother thinks he's the guy who's trying to kill her. Uh, thank you. Here, enjoy that. Hi, folks. Here I am again, back from the deepest, darkest Africa. You see, I'm a humanitarian, sometimes even a vegetarian. And I sell right from my heart. So you know that when you buy a home from Buana Worthmeyer, you're Buana getting the Worth best that money can buy for the least possible amount. Let me show you some of the beautiful plants that we've got nestled around each and every right. Buana Worthmeyer home right here. In I want to see Buana. Exactly the way nature intended them to be. Africa's my home. My there. Right here you see him? Then so why don't you shut your mouth? Are you the gorilla who uses the gorilla to push around the old folks? You've got a problem, pal? Why don't you move along? Now, unless you can get to that buffalo gun, I'm going to make a mess right in the middle of your belly. Will you knock that off? We're trying to shoot a commercial here. I thought you only shot wild animals and frightened old ladies. I'm here about Mother Michigan. All right, take five. Everybody take five. You know what it costs to shoot one of these things? You know the penalty for attempted murder? I don't know nothing about no murder. Mother Michigan wants to make waves letter. The worst they can do is slap me on the wrist and hit me with a fine. That's why you send a gorilla to pretend she's a bunch of bananas? You've been in the sun too long. Your brain's baked. All right, everybody, you break us up. Let's go. Come on, let's get something on film. I think it's costing a fortune. Break through, but come on. Gotta get something on film here. Roll em. Hi there. Here I am once more, back from deepest, darkest Africa. Yes. It is Dan Tanner, isn't it? I guess. Of course it is. Mother Michigan described you perfectly. I I'm Lillian. Come in. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Hey. 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 I made it all myself. It's very good. Well, oh, you should hear all the nice things she says about you. And you I haven't seen her this happy in years. I like that something. Dandy! Uh, excuse me. Dandy! 
Sunday. Isn't this wonderful? All my old friends together. You know, we have these coffee uh, clutches mother, every month, but never in such mother, a Mother, I told you not to tell anybody where you were. Danny, if you're such a party pooper, how come you sent me such a lovely, beautiful Jeroboam of champagne? Huh? Now everybody out of the suite, please, ladies. Right this way. Now, come on. Take a drink with you. Come on, get down. Get down. It could be a bomb. Right up. Mother, you two. What? But you look tired. You, no, you should rest a... a little bit. Come. Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry I fell on your hands. It's okay. Listen, I'm going to get a glass of milk. Does anybody want anything? <laughs> One little explosion, and, and he won't leave me alone. Mother? Lillian, you got my message. Yeah, look who's here. <laughs> Danny, look, my angel is here. She'd like me to stay with her. Would that be a problem? Well, we have no problem, monsieur. Only opportunities. <laughs> now, <it's> Bella. Mm. <laughs> She said it was a rocket bomb, a real work of art, and the blast was patterned to go straight up. So if you hadn't moved it, chances are it would just blown a hole through the ceiling. Well, how did I know that? Well, there's only one guy I can think of west of Chicago who had built anything that sophisticated, the general. Mm. We're not open. General? Oh. Uh, request permission to enter and confer, sir. Oh, uh, well, make it brief. I'm just in the last phase of perfecting my, my new can't-miss, blow-away rodent remover, huh? <laughs> you see, it's a series of explosions, you know? It's, it just goes boom, 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 then wham, you know? <laughs> blow those suckers right out of their holes, huh? All right. You know, Dan, I, I'm a great respecter of gunpowder. I only use it for the good of mankind. Uh, General, what about that champagne Jerobam you made? Now, whose good was that for? Well, that, uh, that was just a big firecracker, you know? A fellow who ordered it, uh, just said it was a big party joke. Hmm. <laughs> Some joke we could have died laughing. Oh? Huh? What fellow? Well, uh, I don't know. I mean, he just called up and said, uh, he understood how difficult it was for us veterans, you know, to get along on a pension these days. He offered me $300 for a rush job, so I took it. Now, look, Dan, now, I've served my country in peacetime and in wartime. This is my reward, reloading bullets for other people to shoot. John, undignified. Thanks, General. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. General. This looks like the gun that Buona Worthmeyer uses in his commercials. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> it should. It's, it's his gun. Uh, General, uh, this Buona character, he, he doesn't really go on safari, does he? Him? Safari? <laughs> He'd open go near the San Diego Zoo, scared to death of animals. <laughs> ah, then he doesn't shoot. Not true. He can knock the yes out of a sardine can at 200 yards. That's providing the sardine can is completely defenseless. <laughs> oh, General, uh, one last question before I go. If you didn't meet the guy that hired you, uh, how'd you make your delivery? Well, I, uh, I just brought the champagne bottle to uh, a post office box and put it there, and there was an envelope waiting for me. Now, uh, Dan, uh, you're, uh, you're not going to turn me in for... Thing like this, are you? Old soldier. As far as I'm concerned, General, the case is closed. Thank you, Dan. I'll, I'll see that you're mentioned very favorably in my report. Now, Dan, I want you to take a look at my new root remover. I'm going to test it right now. You going to light that thing? Yeah. Just, uh, uh, think we should back up? Yeah, right after I left. I'm going to be. I'll back up now. Well, all right, I'll follow you. Backing up. You're backing up. I'll be right with you. Okay. Here we go, baby. Go and do it. Go and do it. Go and do it. Pop it. 
Make a great landmine for cockroaches. That's a great idea. Landmine for cockroaches. Cockroaches, watch your feet. Here we go. Yes, sir. Dan, I have Vincer on the line, and uh, Roth called. He wasn't happy, honey. He uh, recommended you meet him. Uh, patch him in. Roth? Roth? What are you, crazy? Vincer. Damn. Hi. Listen, this time I have got that sucker nailed. Fast Freddy is in a disco. And I am looking at that repo even as we speak. <laughs> I lost him for a couple minutes, you know, but then I picked him up, and now I have got him cold. Well, you're a tribute to the profession. Go get him, Benzer. Come in, Dan. Uh, how'd you know it was me? Roth knows everything. Listen, Slick, I can explain everything. Uh, it was just one of those things that I you never... I can't believe what's happened to me. My clothes, custom-made clothes. I had it made in Italy. Three fittings, velvet, well, listen, don't... shantung silk. Yeah, I know, but I was trying to help Mother Mishkin, and Mother it was... Mishkin, my... Uh... Sorry, Slick. Don't call me Slick when I'm mad. <laughs> oh, you think it's funny? It's my clothes. I really am sorry, Slick. I don't like that suit anyway. I really am sorry. Good night, Slick. Why were you in jail? You don't want to know. You're right, I don't. You don't want to know? I'll go back to night school. Good, maybe they'll teach you how to repossess a car. Maybe they'll teach me how to repossess a brain. I won't have to do this for a living. Good, in the meantime, you want to tell me why you were in jail? You told me to repossess a car. I had to get tough with a couple guys. Oh, I see. <clears throat> I asked them not to hurt the face. They ripped off my clothes. The police arrested me. Benzer, look, I was just trying to help you pick up some extra cash, but if you can't handle it, I'll get somebody you else. Handle it. I'll find handle somebody you want else the car, to do it. I will get the car. Then get the car and take it to the finance company. And put some decent clothes on. You look a mess. Danny comes home, this is going to warm the cockles of his heart. Uh, you should excuse the expression. Mmm, it smells yummy. Yeah, it's a recipe handed down through the generations. Started with my great-grandmother in Kiev. That's Russia. What's that? What? I got a real present for you, my friend. you get out of here. I warn you, I've got to please, please, take him away. No. Ha, 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 ha! 
Now you've been through too much. I can't. Now listen, listen. I, I've got a plan I know is going to work, but you got to trust me, okay? No, you got to trust me. But enough is enough. Now listen, you got to trust me. <laughs> Mother, if anything should happen to you. Wait ten minutes after we go, then call Two Leaf on the CB and tell him I'm on my way with Mother Michigan. Harlan? Uh, no, Elijah. His place is a little farther out of town. You're on the CB? Won't everybody know? That's exactly right, Angie. Everybody will know. That pays to advertise. <laughs> Say goodbye, Mother. If you need anything, just call me. This is it. You made good time, Daniel. How you doing, Eli? Mother Michigan, this is Elijah Tooley. Hi, oh, ma'am. <laughs> my, oh, my. <laughs> what a big guy. Uh, tell me, honey, <clears throat> are you married? Not me. A man should not live alone. I got hobbies. I fixed up the back bedroom. Uh, good. Uh, Mother, it's this no, way. Don't on, be let's... in such a hurry to get rid of me. I want to look around a little bit first. <laughs> Was Angie loud and clear on the CB? Worthmeyer had to hear it. Then get out your toy hats and noisemakers. I think we're going to have ourselves a party. Uh, Mother, wait a second. Mother, I, I think it'd be better if we come on back to the house now. Yeah. You like horses? We could go for a ride later, all right? Shoot, Gaylord. <laughs> that town of full of shears, stupid. Broadcasting his whereabouts over the CB so everybody could hear. down there, all right. They might be waiting for us. I don't think so, but they might be. <laughs> well, Hellfire's Gaylord, this might be as much fun as we ever had, and we being paid just to scare her. Well, I'll tell you something. That old lady is going to scream until she's about dead. It's a good time to go, Gaylord. Now, you creep up behind that big fellow there in the barn, and you keep that rifle of yours pointed at his back. What do you be doing in the meanwhile? Working my way around the side of the porch there, and I'm gonna do my hoot out of And when the other fellow comes out to check the noise, I'm gonna clop him one right side his head, and I'm gonna ring his bell. <laughs> then we can have some fun with the old lady. Uh-huh.
Reach for the sky, cowboy. Thank you very much. Well, you sure got some weird friends. What's it fixing to do to us? Oh, it's an old Indian custom. What do you call it again, Two Leaf? The ritual of fire. The ritual of fire, right. Fire! You, you ain't gonna upset a fire under us. We, we, we got rights. Oh, well, I tried to reason with him, but that's one stubborn Indian. He gets his mind made up. He's stubborn as a mule. Mm. I figured it'll take all night to burn him if I stack the wood right. Hey, don't let him do that. You can't do that to us. No, make him stop. We'll do anything you want. Anything. Who hired you to panic Mother Michigan? We can't tell you that. Don't burn your fingers, Tuleaf. We'll talk, we'll talk. All right, who hired you? I, I, I never seen her. Wait a second, it was a woman? She, she called us on the telephone, and, and she left the money at the post office box. I swear that's the truth. That's not good enough. Go ahead, Tuleaf. I swear it's the truth. truth. It's the truth. All she said was that she was going to Worthmeyer's secretary, and that if we'd done a good job, Mr. Worthmeyer would be real happy. Keep an eye on him. Hey, don't leave us here with him. Yeah, lay down. I'll let him hang around oh, the house till the cops come by. Hey, lay us down. Put me down. Remember, a Worthmeyer home is your total guarantee of excellence, or my name isn't Buona Worthmeyer. Uh, hold it, Mr. Worthmeyer. You're popping your tea. Let's try it again from Remember. Oh, all okay. right. Hi. Well, didn't you see the sign? Well, I like your sign a lot better. You're the engineer. Remember, Worthmeyer home is your Want to see my license? Total guarantee of excellence. <laughs> Definitely. So why delay any longer? Drive on out to the Safari Leisure Cutoff, turn right on beautiful Cactus Creek Boulevard. Will you get lost, Tanner? You got nothing on me? Uh, would you do me a favor? Leave the soundtrack running. Why? Well, I'd rather tell you why over dinner. You got it. You ain't gonna get me with the finger routine this time. Worthmeyer, why don't you just answer a few questions and we can forget the John Wayne stuff, huh? Take him out, Sortie. Come on now, be reasonable. Careful, somebody's gonna get hurt here. <laughs> you have any idea who has to pay for all the stuff you're breaking? <laughs> my hand. Ah, uh, no, don't do it. Don't hit me. I just had my teeth capped. How it's... much heat did you bring down on Mother Michigan? I, uh, I just had Sorty lean on her a little bit, that's all, with the gorilla. Then when she wouldn't roll over, I had the general prepare a, a, a little surprise package. I, I wasn't gonna hurt her. Nothing serious. Shall like I told you she's just a nuisance. You never heard of Omar Gaylord and the tarantulas? No, what are they, rock group? They said your secretary hired them. I, 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 I never hired I don't even have a secretary. You don't have a girl working for you personally? You know how much they cost? I don't have any girl working for me. Juana, if you're lying to me, I'm gonna take you out to your development and make you eat one of your lots. That's the truth. I wish I didn't believe you. Bella, forget about Juana Worthmeyer. I think we're after a woman. Now, that's a strange coincidence. A woman just bailed out Omar and Gaylord Cody. Describe her. A uh, tall, attractive, blonde, and a mole on the right side of her mouth. Bella, I need all the information you can give me on a woman named Lillian Ross. Oh, that shouldn't be hard. Can you give me a why? Well, the description you just gave me fits Mother's friend Lillian, the only other person who knew I was taking her to Two Leafs Ranch. 
is what you just said supposed to make sense? Well, it will when you give me the information. Well, I've already started. Bye-bye. Ladies, improving our minds. Uh, where, where's Mother? She left with Lily, and they said they were meeting you. Oh, no. Metropolitan Police Sergeant Archer. Uh, Bella, listen, have you found anything on Lillian Ross? Well, you're lucky I work fast. I hope fast enough. What do you got? Lily Ross, age 15, also known as Lillian Rossetti. Lydia Rosen and Lila Reese. Dan, sit down for this one. She was a hooker, but at the time of her arrest, she was pregnant. You got a current address? Yeah, 1115 Palm Desert Drive. Thanks, Bella. See you later, girls. My daughter has grown into such a beautiful woman. So all these years, you knew who she was. I even spoke to her once. She didn't even know who I was. She was so sweet to a complete stranger, her real mother. Oh, I'm so sorry, Lillian. It, it must have hurt you terribly. But thank heaven you had the strength to have known and to have accepted it. She's very happy. And we both owe that to you. Come on, let's go. We don't want to be late. Angie, look at today's Sun Times. But I've already read it, Dan. Why? <laughs> uh, page 19, the top right hand column, it looks like society news. Okay. The wedding announcement, Dan. 215 today at Little Church. Deborah Denome is marrying Barton Durow the <laughs> third. Thanks, Angie. Right, Lillian. Okay. Could we 
sit down on the bench for a little bit? She's sitting there like a clay pigeon, Gaylord. Now you wing her once, and then shoot her dead center. That's not the deal. March towards we don't shoot till she stands up. Well, that's a signal. The hell with the signal! I want to get paid. This time she's gone forever. Yes. But you were right. She's very happy. Yes. She's happy. What about my life? What have you done to me? I was young. I needed guidance. And you took my baby away from me. You wouldn't even tell me who had her. But I found out everything's going to be all right now. What, Lillian? You... You were in no condition to, to be a mother. <laughs> the way things happened, you, you both had a better life. That's what you'd like to believe. Oh, how I wanted to hurt you. Just the way I was hurt. When Juana Worth Meyer started to threaten you, I had the perfect opportunity. I wanted to scare you. I wanted to drive you crazy, right into an institution. But you wouldn't scare. So now you have to die. And I'll blame Worth Meyer. But, but Lillian, look, look around you. You use your own eyes. The, the girl is happy. She has a wonderful life. You ruined everything I could have had with her. Now what do we do? We wait till she stands up. You're too late, Tana. She took my daughter away from me, and now she's going to die, and nobody can stop it. She's not your daughter anymore, Lillian. You gave that up from the first. No. She did it. Where would your daughter be if it hadn't been for Mother Michigan? She'd be with me. Watching you turn five and ten dollar tricks downtown. Strung out on arm candy. Tied to some pimp who beat you with her watching. That's not true. We'd be happy together. We'd be doing things. Lillian, would you like your daughter to be where you were? She's the one person who made everybody whole. <laughs> it's, it's too late. Oh, Mother, it's too late. They're up there on the roof. Oh, Mother, Mother. <laughs> Lillian, come on, get Mother out of here. Help. Lillian, help her. Help her. Get in.
I don't miss six times. Here, rub each other on with those. You know some you guys really aren't that funny. First of all, she wants me to protect her from a person who's trying to kill her. Now she thinks that that person is, is basically good and that I should help her get off the hook. Not only that, but if Lillian doesn't get off free, that I'm through in this town. I mean, do I look like Clarence Darrow? No. Do I even look like a lawyer? No. How much does a good criminal lawyer cost? 250 bucks, minimum. I only need 50. Hi. All right. Hey, hey, you like the suit? Very nice. Yeah, very how nice. about the 50 dollars? Sure, did you get the caddy? You wanted a car? I got the car. Terrific. Of course, I, I had to mix it up with Fast Freddy. <laughs> it was great. I got him in a phone booth, and I tied him all up. I slipped into the Cadillac and eased into traffic. It was very Well, nice. let's see it. I... Well, you don't have to see it now. I, I just need $50. What for? Well, expenses and stuff, you know. Uh, I think I'd like to see the caddy first. Yeah, mm -hmm. but you don't. Dan? Dan? Dan, you have to understand, the traffic was very heavy. There were entirely too many cars on the street. I sort of forgot to put on my turn signal light, I guess. I, I was very excited. It was my first real repo. Please, give me $50. You need $50? Try getting it from a finance company. <laughs> 